from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. It is estimated that a quarter of all American households now have at least one dog sharing the home. According to the Pet Food Institute, dog owners spend about $8 billion a year on food for the 67 million canines living in the U.S. So how can you determine the best dog food on the market? Well, the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine has the largest medical residency program in the U.S. in animal nutrition, providing expertise to veterinarians and pet food manufacturers. What makes an owner choose one or the other really depends on a lot of things. Availability, cost, their personal preferences if they want certain ingredients, they want a fish-based diet or a beef-based diet, for example. And because there's all these different choices, it's really important that pet owners work with their veterinarians to make these decisions. Larson says the best advice is to keep your dog trim. And remember that expensive chow is not always the best. Well, part of it has a lot to do with marketing. Pet food companies have to pay for shelf space in certain stores. And depending on where they market their diets, those costs are going to be different. Advertising budgets and um, ingredient costs for the company all factor into that final product. She says to store your pet food at room temperature. Garages are often too hot in the summer months to store pet food. The ones that we worry about the most are ones that have a lot of um, really fragile fats in them, mostly from fish. Those are fats that are easily go rancid just from exposure to the environment. So it's important not to stock up a lot of food at one time, so buy frequently and buy small bags. Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.